Hey, what's going on? So, uh, I want to talk to you today about my fetish for Daiwa SP minnows. Daiwa Salt Pro minnows. And this is my little collection. And I love these lures. I bought most of the varieties. And um, I have uh, a couple of bullets right there. So those are heavier. Those are one and a half ounce. And they cast really far. But without the metal lip on them, they don't give you the same great swimming action that uh, the rest of the SP fleet gives you. Now, this row here on my left, um, I've switched out all of the hooks and the split rings because uh, a lot of surf casters say that they've had the stock hooks on the SP minnows bend out and the split rings as well. They say that they're not really the best quality. They've lost big fish as a result of their stock hooks bending out and um, the split rings as well. So I took their advice with a number of my plugs and I bought a pack of 2 VMC. You can see... If you do a side-by-side -side comparison, this is a very used uh, purple laser here. And you can see that's really been scuffed up by a bunch of fish. That's a very good color um, at night, I found, but they probably work during the day too. So in comparison, here's a brand new, um, well, let's take the same lure, right? There's the same lure and the gauge of the metal on the hooks is slightly thinner than the VMC. So, um, yeah. Now, I've talked to other uh, very avid surf guys and they say, oh no, don't change the stock hooks on the SP Minnow because um, that lure is balanced and Daiwa must have felt that that is the right hook for that particular lure. So uh, by changing the hook and putting a heavier hook on the lure, you may be altering the swimming action of the plug. Well, that might be, you know, I, I don't completely discount that theory. But again, here is a very used laser purple with you know fish scuffs all over it and it's only caught bass i haven't caught any blues on it but um yeah i put a bunch of bass on that one and um here's their smallest model i only have one and i caught a few fish on that too but um i i don't think i changed the hooks on that i think i left them stuck they're only like size 10 treble hooks on the smaller one so I was just like, well, I'm not going to get crazy. Even I see some some bass scuffs on this purple here, the black and purple. And uh, I switched out the hooks on this one too to the uh, VMC. So uh, as you can see, the most of what I have here in my collection are the bone white color which is my favorite uh this one's got scratches on it um that one's got scratches so uh, i know i lost uh, one or two you know in the time that i've been fishing uh, these particular plugs and um yeah i i did lose one or two of the bones um it's probably been the most consistent color for me especially during daylight uh, the bone works great. I've caught in the dark a little bit 
on the bone white too. Um, I've caught on the the purple, black and purple at night in the dark. That's what those are for, pretty much. And uh, the purple laser, I think that's what they call these. And that's a really good color too. I think it'll work day or night, but I've got them good at night with those. Um, this is a color that they call fast food. And I'm in love with this. I mean, it's gold, it's got flash, and it's got hot colors. It's got, you know, kind of like yellow chartreuse on the head and red on the back. And you can see the counterweights in there. There's one, two, three, four. Yep, four balls. So that counterweight on the cast, those things go forward, right? the momentum and, and the weight shifts and you get a better blast of a cast out of that. And it also rattles, which uh, rattling attracts most species of bass as we understand it at present. Um, I'll tell you what, I've caught a bunch of stripers on these things and friends of mine have done very well on these, even uh, boating some very sizable bass up to 30 pounds on these lures. So I, for one, am a believer and I have a fetish for them because uh, here again, you see this wacky uh, configuration. It's like a white, clear, transparent with silver flash. It's just so cool looking. I had to have it, you know, and I'm willing to bet that the fish will hit that sucker pretty well, too. So, um, yeah, I got to give this one a shot one of these days. Um, I did catch a fish or two on this. I haven't given it a lot of time in the water. It's, it's just like a work of art that I love to look at. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I definitely have to fish it more. And these are hard to come by. I don't see them around in the stores very much and... Uh, maybe I can order them online. I have to look. But, uh, yeah, so um, these are all good colors. I mean, I have friends who who say uh, a lot of great things about the uh, yellow black back here. And I haven't given them any, any time in the water at all yet. So, uh, you know, uh, these ghost white they produce i've caught on them um the wonder bread guys say they've done well with them south shore guys not that one so much um they like this spearing looking one here so uh i i you know i did try that i didn't i didn't catch on it but and then they have the larger size i think this is the six and three quarter it's bigger it's heavier cast farther bigger profile um i caught on that at least once or twice and um and that's it i mean look at this awesome color selection this is a laser parrot you know it's got the chartreuse back with the with the wonder bread finish in there and the hot orange belly uh caught a couple on that one Lots of people love, you know, the traditional uh, chicken scratch style. Uh, I think I caught a fish or two on that one, too. But, um, you know, I rely so heavily on the bone and uh, the laser purple. Um, and I, I give all the other ones a, a shot here and there. You know, I, I love having all the colors. Um, because I always feel like maybe one particular day color is going to make a difference. Um, usually during the daylight, bone has not failed me much. And when it got slow on bone, I put on the laser parrot I caught um, and a couple of the others. So anyway, um, you know, you can never have enough colors, but uh, then there's always those go-to you know patterns and uh when you have confidence in something that's it 
you know, you, you kind of tend to stick with it. But uh, yeah, so that's my Daiwa Salt Pro Minnow collection and fetish. And it's just about time to get out in the waders and, and start throwing these things. And uh, I just can't wait <laughs> any day now. And that's it for the cabin fever. So uh, thanks again for joining me, and uh, we'll see you real soon.